Hi, I'm Layla Fox from Layla Fox Nation. In today's video, I want to talk about update 212 that is coming to Raid Shadow Legends, along with a brand new legendary champion and how to get her. So let's get right into it. Okay, so update 212, as you can see here, says it's a smaller but important patch that is going to fix several arena-centered issues and also some bugs, pretty much to help our quality of life with the game. So first off, we have some arena things. The first one is going to be the fragments for Drexlar Blood Twin will become available to all players, whether you are in bronze tier and above, in the Tag Team Arena Bazaar. If you're unsure of what that means, my latest video that I just did, I talk about the whole thing. I talk about how much Drexlar is going to be, how many fragments you're going to need and all of that. So make sure you check out the previous video. The purchase cooldown for the silver accessory chest in the bazaar will be decreased to one day. That is good. There's been a lot of different items in the bazaar that people have been complaining that the cooldown has been too long. So decreasing it down is a nice change. The AI is going to be adjusted to ensure your champions prioritize active skills as opposed to killing a low level enemy with a basic skill. This should prevent high-end arena defense teams from being confounded by sneaky tactics of taking a basic common champ along to trick the AI into wasting a turn. This I do like because it never feels good when you have your arena defense up and then you have something like this that you shouldn't you shouldn't lose to a team like that, but yet you do. So I think this is a nice change to make the AI a bit smarter. So I'm happy to see that. The matchmaking logic for generating opponents list in Tag Team Arena is going to be more balanced. So you should start to see opponents list populated with defenses closer to your own strength. I like this, especially for new people coming into Arena where Arena can be a little bit confusing initially in the beginning if you don't understand what it is. And I mean, let's be honest, it still takes even quite a while for people that have been playing to still even figure out Arena. So I like this change quite a bit. A bug allowing players in the Platinum tier Arena to gain more Arena points than limits allow will be fixed. That is good. And this last one, to ensure all active and competitive playing field, players that are inactive and Classic Arena will no longer show up in other players' opponent lists. This change will be implemented as soon as the list of your opponents is refreshed, either manually or automatically. I like this. I know that we've been talking about this for a while, that anybody that first comes to the game, if you're brand new, you know that starting in the bottom tier of bronze, all of a sudden you're going against teams that clearly don't belong in the bronze league. So doing something like this should make it a lot easier and make a lot more sense for you to be able to compete against people of your own actual tier versus you being new to the game or not having many as good champions as somebody that just stopped playing and their account is decayed. So I think this is a really, really good fix and I'm really looking forward to see how this changes for everybody, especially newer players or even you know people like myself that you were maybe on 80 days and we get to silver, but then you, know, you get knocked back down to bronze all the time. And still, what you see in the bronze and silver league sometimes doesn't really make sense. So I'm looking forward to this change. The next change for the clan boss I really, really like. They said starting with patch 212, clan boss keys will be subtracted upon a successful completion of a battle, very similar to a faction war crypt key. This is going to ensure that players no longer lose a key due to a technical issue. Of course, the damage will also count at the end of the battle. I really like this because myself, and I'm sure most of you that are listening, probably have lost at least one key due to some kind of technical glitch. Whether you disconnected from the game, whether you got stuck in a maintenance that you're just I don't know, maybe you forgot that it was going on. Whatever the issue is, you lose a clan boss key and it never feels good. So I do like this change of the fact that the key will only be subtracted after you successfully complete a battle against the boss. And there's a couple other little bug fixes as well here too, talking about gold bars, champion models. This one here, fix the bug that removes displayed artifact levels and artifact storage. This one's definitely a little confusing where you think you upgraded an artifact and you in fact didn't. So I'm looking forward to them fixing that. And the last thing to talk about is there's a brand new legendary that's going to become available this Friday. And the brand new legendary is going to be Akrila Witch Arm. She is going to be a legendary magic affinity support champion for the orc faction now she is going to be brand new and she's going to be available through champion fragments 
What's going to happen is there's going to be a Champion Fragments event and tournament starting this Friday where players will be able to collect fragments and to be able to summon her. For example, when we did the, the Horden Fragment event there, this is going to be very, very similar where you have to collect 100 to be able to summon her. Now one question I did receive is if only 100 fragments are going to be available in the events and tournaments. Because if that's the case, then it can make it much more difficult, for example, like a newer player trying to obtain her. And the response was there will be more than 100 fragments available. That way if you're struggling in an area in either the events or the tournaments, you have a chance to try to still get your 100, maybe in a different area. So again, she's going to be a brand new Legendary Champ starting this Friday that will be attainable through fragments in the events and tournaments. So we're gonna have this along with a times two Sacreds event coming up on Friday, which I'm really excited about. We do not have the list of the champions yet, but once we do, you guys will be sure to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you got some good information out of this. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing, maybe hitting the like button, leaving me a comment down below. All of that really, it helps me out quite a bit and it also shows me that you appreciate the content that we're providing to you. You can always catch me live on Twitch as well at twitch.tv slash LaylaFoxNation where I stream six days a week. So I'll either see you guys live on Twitch or in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash LaylaFoxNation four days a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and be part of our community and we'll see you there.